Tomorrow, the annual Great Bay Scallop Search. Amanda Holly is here to explain what this event is and why it's important to keep track of scallops in the bay. Amanda? Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so just about every year since 1996, about 200 volunteers jump into Tampa Bay to snorkel around and search for these bay scallops. They can't take them home to eat. They're just counting them. And the more they find, the better our water quality is. Finding a scallop in the seagrass is like an underwater Easter egg hunt. But more than just a treat, these shellfish act as a canary in a coal mine for waterways. They're very susceptible to kind of poor water quality pollution. Um, so if, for instance, you go to a place and you can't find them, um, that might be an indication that that water quality is pretty poor. Eric Plage with Tampa Bay Watch says scallops are a good indicator because they can actually move around. They do their small part to filter the water and clean it up a little bit, but it's more so that they have the ability to move. Uh, scallops can migrate, so they will actually migrate to the better water quality. Now, the counts do fluctuate from year to year. Right now, there are still not enough to be able to recreationally harvest them in the bay. But Eric said the sheer fact that we have any bay scallops in the bay at all is a testament to the work being done to help clean up our water. It's cool. Amanda, will we ever be able to actually harvest in Tampa Bay? So that is the eventual goal, right? But unfortunately, the water quality just isn't good enough right now to support a scallop popula population large enough. It'll probably never be as clean as up along the nature coast just because there are fewer people who live up there. The water, the Tampa Bay watershed, though, is affected by about 5 million people. So that's a lot of people. We all have to do our part to limit the pollution getting yep. into the bay. Good reminder for yeah. an important topic, Amanda. Absolutely. Thanks very much. All right, we'll get over to Lee now. How's it going to look this weekend for the Great Bay Scallop Search? Yes, thank you to all the volunteers who come out and do this every year. It's so important. So let's talk about Saturday. The, the search just happens from about 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And when we're really transitioning back into a more typical summer weather pattern tomorrow, so it's going to be steamy. Of course, then you get in the water, you'll be just fine. 83 degrees at 10 a.m. But for anything you do, Saturday morning should be dry. By 11 a.m., it's 85. Now, toward the end of that scallop search around 1 p.m., that's when those showers could start forming. But today we have our